Um, uh, I'm a lecturer of mathematics. Just uh, this is a complex number. Exercise two. Okay. So we can start. Everybody must uh, consist with a math kata and follow my instruction and note the lecture. Okay. Thank you. So the topic is complex number. If we write the equation x square minus one equals zero. Yeah. If we consider equation x square minus one is the quantitative equation, but we can solve this equation x square equal one or x equal plus minus one. So the required value of x is plus minus one. Okay. But equation is like this. And what is the solution? X square equal minus one. This is an undefined condition. It is an undefined condition because of there is no value, there is no real number uh, uh, like this. There is no real number. The square form will the result will be a negative form. Okay. So that. Oh, actually, cancer is easy. Cancer is easy. Sir, our generation cancer is easy. The cancer is easy. 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 Cancer is
বোঝা যাচ্ছে তাহলে না বোঝা গেলে আমাকে বলো আর মাঝে মাঝে আপনার নেটের জন্য একটু মেবি খোলা হয়ে যাচ্ছে ওটা ছাড়া সব ওকে ওকে ঠিক আছে তো x √1 1 মানে i এটাকে বলা হয় ইমাজিনারি i আমাদের টপিক সিস্টেম ছিল কমপ্লেক্স নাম্বার আমি লিখে দিয়েছি আগে কমপ্লেক্স নাম্বার ওকে তো কমপ্লেক্স নাম্বারটা কিভাবে আসছে J equal x plus i y. It is a form of complex number. It is a form of complex number. It is the real part. X is real. Real part is x. And imaginary part. Imaginary part. Imaginary part is y. Okay. Imaginary part is y, okay? Then the complex number is j equal x plus i y. So that from the argon diagram, if we draw an argon diagram as like x axis and y axis, x axis and y axis, x o x prime, y o y prime, okay? Here x axis along the x axis is the real real axis and along the y axis is imaginary axis for the complex number we have got two two axis one is real axis the x is the real axis and y is the imaginary axis okay if we write a complex number j equal x plus i y in any point p x x y okay so from here we equal x and p equal y here the coordinate on the first uh, first coordinate p x comma y any complex number x plus i y x is the real part and y is the imaginary part x is real part and y is the imaginary part it is an argon diagram for x or x prime imaginary axis. When x equals zero in, in this number, when x equals zero, then z equal i y is a complex number. When y equals zero, then z equal only x is a real number. Here is a real number. Then discuss about the geometrical interpretation and the argon diagram now we have to find out the argument and we, we just have to determine the modulus and argument of any complex number we have to find out the argument and modulus let me put a complex number x plus i y okay then from the Argon diagram J equal x plus i y any point p x comma y then like this figure this is the angle theta when x, x when we call x and p we call y then if we consider op equal r then op square equal one square plus m square okay r square equal x square plus y square so that r equal root over x square plus y square this value is called the modulus r is the modulus of the complex number r is the modulus of the r is the modulus of the complex number and argument argument is whenever cos theta from this figure it is an right angle triangle then the value of cos theta 
Constitute equal base by hypotenuse. Base equal x, hypotenuse equal r. So that x equal r cos theta. Similarly, sin theta equal y by r or y equal r sin theta. Okay. So that y by x equal r sin theta by r cos theta clear so that tan theta equal y by x so theta equal tan inverse y by x theta equal tan inverse y by x so theta is called the argument so we can write the argument of this complex number is tan inverse y by x argument argument of the z complex number is z equal theta equal tan inverse y by x okay response okay sunte pachcho shobai ami bujhte pachhi na kono samoshya ache na sir shona jacche acha bujhte mane ami majhe majhe response korbo jodi kono problem hoy tale subidha hoy tarole mone hocche ami eke kotha bole jacchi okay the complex number is z equal x plus i y z equal x plus i y x is the real part y is the imaginary part there has a uh, 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 argon diagram this diagram is called argon diagram because it is a complex number x axis is called the real axis x axis is called the real axis and y axis is called the imaginary axis so from o to m is the value of x and p to m is the value of y Whenever this the coordinate is x comma y, and the angle directed line OP is uh, makes an angle on the positive side of x-axis is theta. So OP square equal m square by plus m square as the Pythagoras theorem. R square equal x square plus y square. If you consider OP equal r, so r equal root over x square plus y square. So that this value of r is called the modulus of the this value of r is called the modulus of the complex number. Clear? Modulus of the complex number. Analogously, whenever cos theta, we have got the cos theta equal base by hypotenuse. Base is x, and hypotenuse equal r. So x equal r cos theta. And similarly, when sin theta equal y by r, y equal r sin theta. Clear? So y by x equal r sin theta by r cos theta. Tan theta equal y by x. So the theta equal tan inverse y by x. It is called the argument of that complex number. If you have, if if you uh, are asked, if you asked for the find out the argument and modulus of any complex number, you have to follow these two rules. Arguments mean theta equal tan inverse y by x, and uh, and modulus mean a root over x square plus y square. Okay, but some special condition arguments is difference. Some special condition arguments is difference. Okay. And please, uh, uh, everybody have to write this, uh, this discussion. Understand what is the discussion of one another? It will be very difficult if you don't follow my instruction. So, firstly, we find out the argument and modulus of any number. But now, argument means theta equal ten inverse y by x. But various condition, it is it will be different. It is only possible for the first quadrant. Whenever the number on the second quadrant, the argument will be different than the first quadrant. The third quadrant is another kind of argument. Here yeah, now I show of any complex number. Okay. Now we draw another figure. If any complex number is on the first quadrant then if we consider a complex number one plus i i so that uh, the coordinate is one one which is the first quadrant this is the first quadrant yeah so here x equal one x equal one y equal one for this case for the complex number of z equal one plus i so Argument of z equal tan inverse one by one. 
equal 10 inverse 1 equal 5 by 4. Whenever complex number at square minus 1 plus i, so that square x is negative, and in this case, number is minus 1 plus 1. The number is minus 1 plus 1. In this case, the second coordinate. It is the second coordinate. In this case, argument will be argument of j is equal minus pi uh, uh, minus uh, sorry pi minus 10 inverse uh, 1 by minus 1 here yeah. so that pi plus 10 inverse 1 pi plus 5 by 4 equal 5 pi by 4 okay it is for the second coordinate and for the third coordinate, if we consider for the third coordinate, if in any number in third coordinate, third coordinate means number is minus one minus i. So that here the point will be minus one minus one. In this case, uh, the uh, argument will be argument z equal. Argument z equal 10 inverse equal minus pi plus 10 inverse y by x minus 1 by minus 1. So that minus pi plus 10 inverse 1 minus pi plus pi by 4. So that 3 pi by 4 in this case. And whenever the number complex number is on the third fourth quadrant, any complex number fourth quadrant will be z equal 1 minus i so that the coordinate is 1 minus 1 in this case what is the argument argument of z argument of argument of z is like this condition 10 inverse y by x i mean minus 1 by 1 in this form in this form so that result is minus 10 inverse 1 equal to minus 5 by 4. Here, everybody, it is the uh, rules of find out the argument of, of the complex number. Here, if you have any question, please ask me for the next clarification. So, what is the conclusion of find out the argument of different case? Whenever, firstly, whenever the point is 1, 1, so the complex number will be 1 plus i. The coordinate is 1, 1, the complex number is 1 plus i. So that in this case, argument equal theta equal 10 inverse y by x, like this form. When the point is minus x plus y, minus x plus y, in this case, argument equal pi minus 10 inverse y by x. Here, in this case, argument is pi minus 10 inverse y by x but when the complex number is minus one minus uh, third quadrant so that minus one minus one uh, in this case argument theta equal argument theta equal minus pi minus pi plus 10 inverse y by x but when the coordinate is minus one my, uh, sorry plus one minus one on the fourth quadrant in this case, argument will be theta equal and inverse only y by x as like for the first case on the first uh, on the first coordinate of the first coordinate and for the fourth coordinate complex number in case of the complex number uh, the same rules uh, for the first coordinate and fourth coordinate on the complex number. Okay, so that's. We know about the complex number. We have to find. Uh, we know about the uh, rules of uh, rules of argument and uh, modulus of any complex number. Next, to find out the sum of any two complex number will be complex number, and subtraction of any two complex number will be also a complex number, and multiplication of any two complex number is also be a complex number. If we consider two complex number like is state one equal a plus ib and z2 like a1 b1 and z2 equal a2 plus ib2 we have we just consider any two complex number now is adding this two complex number z1 plus z2 
So real part is A1, have real part is A2. Yeah. Adding this to real part, A1 plus A2 plus, if we take the common part of I, A1 plus B2. So it is also a complex number. So sum of any two complex number is also a complex number. If we consider A equal A1 plus A2 and capital B equal B1 plus B2, so that this is also a complex number. So we can say sum of any two complex number is also a complex number. And subtraction of any two complex number, if you consider Z1 equal A plus IB, जेडी And J2 equal A2 plus IB2. Next, we sum up these two complex numbers. J1 plus J2 equal sum of the real part plus I into sum of the uh, imaginary parts. So this is the one form of A plus IB. A plus IB is the complex number form. So sum of any two complex number is also a complex number. Now, uh, difference of any two complex number is also a, difference of any two complex number is also be a complex number. Let me consider J1 equal A plus IB is a complex number. And J2 equal C plus ID. The subtraction from first complex number to second complex number. J1 minus J2. J1 minus J2. Then you subtract A to C. You get A minus C plus I into B minus J. So that it is also a complex number. Now I show the product of any two complex number. Product of any two complex number is also a complex number. Product of any two complex number is also complex number so that uh, any complex number j1 equal a plus ib and j2 equal c plus ib clear now j1 into j2 j1 into j2 means a plus ib into c plus ib clear then sc plus i into ab plus i into bc plus i square into bd clear so that ac plus i into ab plus bc minus bd because of i square equal what i square equal minus 1 so that we can put against the value of i square equal minus 1 so what will be the result result is ac minus bd plus i into ad plus bc it is on the same appearance as like the complex number a plus ib a plus ib so product of any two complex number is also complex number whenever any number is like this form is called the complex number form so what is the uh, form requirements uh, Uh, given two complex number, yeah, I square equal minus one. Why I square equal minus one? Because we know that x equal root over minus one, and we consider this as imaginary i because of uh, root of any minus uh, um, integer. Root of root over of any minus integer is not uh, defined, so it is a imaginary part. And complex number is start from this part. Okay, so that. Uh, x equal root over minus one mean i, so i square equal minus one, so that we get I, the value of i square from here. Okay, and replace the value of i square at here minus, so i square equal minus into bd. 
the result will be SC minus BD plus I into AD plus this is. But some special condition, although we know sum of any two uh, real number is also real, uh, sum of any two complex number is also complex number and subtraction or difference of any two complex number is also complex number. Product of any two complex number is also complex number and division of any two complex number is also complex number but some special condition. We have to know about the conjugate of any complex number. Conjugate of any complex number. Now we show that what is the conjugate of any complex number. Conjugate of any complex number means a any complex number is j equal x plus conjugate of this complex number is j equal j x plus i by here and also uh, but if the complex number is plus form then conjugate of this number is minus i y okay and also the given number is x minus i y then the conjugate of this number will be x plus i y in this case if we sum of this any number and with this comp uh, with this conjugate number is a real number x. In this case, sum of these two complex number is is a real number. In this case, it is not be a imaginary number or complex number. Secondly, if we product, if we do product of these two number z into z bar x plus i y into x minus i y, these two number is two other are complex. Okay, so x square minus i square y square x square minus i square mean minus one into y square so that x square plus y square so that z into z bar product of the complex number and its conjugate number equal a real number so we can see that any complex number and conjugate of that complex number is z bar original complex number is z equal x plus i y then we find the conjugate of this complex number is x minus i y and sum of these two numbers equal twice x is a real number. So sum of any complex number and its conjugate number is real number and product of any complex number and its conjugate number is also a real number x plus i y plus x minus i y so the x square minus i square i square mean minus one so the z into z bar equal x square plus Why is that? Okay, now the characteristics of unity and about this condition, just if any, uh, firstly, we find out the, uh, the cube root of unity. Cube root of unity, you know, uh, uh, as far as I know. The cube root of one equal one. You know that always the cube root of one equal one, but it is not uh, correct for the complex number. So how can you find the uh, cube root of unity? One is the unity. So how can we find out the result of cube root of unity? If we consider that x equal cube root of one, okay, x equal cube root of one, then we get x cube equal one or x cube minus one equals zero, or x minus one into x square uh, plus x uh, plus one equals zero. So that x minus one equals zero, or x equal one, or x square plus x plus one equals zero. Hence, it is a quadratic equation of x. It is a what is the equation of x? So how can we solve this equation? By this form, x equal minus b. b mean one coefficient of x plus minus root over b square minus four is c. B square mean one square minus four. A mean coefficient of x square is one into uh, c. C mean the constant part. Divide two a into one. So that minus one plus minus root over minus three by two equal minus one plus minus root over 
थ्री आई स्क्वायर बाय टू इक्वल वन प्लस माइनस रूट थ्री आई So that give root of one is plus three roots. One has been given. The students, uh, you can you can see that uh, from this equation, the give root of unity and derivation from this, we have got the solution x equal one. One is the one roll uh, one real root of give root of one, and we have got the second equation x square plus x plus one as like a what is the equation here coefficient of x square is a a mean one coefficient of x is one and constant term is one so that we know the equation for solving form of the quadratic equation equal x equal minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by twice so here b mean one so minus b plus minus over b square minus 4 ac by twice after solving this we have got root over minus 3 minus some minus i my mean i square Minus one plus minus root over three i square equal one plus minus root three into i. So we have got three values. One is the real value x equal one. Another x equal uh, from here minus one plus root three i by two. And another is x equal minus one minus root. Three i by two, so that one is the real root. So we can consider this two root by first. If we one root is considered by omega sign, then another will be omega square. One root is omega, then another will be omega square. And now we find out the characteristics, the roots of this unity. Now we find out the characteristics of the cube root of unity. So we have got Three roots of unity according to the cube root form. One is real root, and two is two are complex roots. Uh, one we consider by omega, omega equal minus one plus root three i by two, and another is omega square. So how we how we get uh, omega square like this one? One root is square form of one root is uh, the required value of another root. Okay. So if we uh, if we make it in uh, square form, we get this uh, root. Or uh, and similarly, if we make it square form, then we get this value. We can show this and some characteristics of the cube unity. Characteristics of cube roots. Write down one, one plus omega plus omega square equals zero. Two, omega cube equal zero. Okay, and then three, omega equal one by omega square. Similarly, omega square equal one by omega. Okay, we can prove this all over. We, uh, we can show that if we uh, this value and always well, uh, also if we uh, make it a square form then we get the omega value so we, uh, i just show this firstly omega equal minus one plus root three i by two then we make it a square form the omega square equal minus one plus root three i by two whole square then what is what will be the result Minus one whole square plus two into minus one into root three i plus three i whole square by four. What is the result? One minus two root three plus three i square by four. Clear? Yeah. One minus two root three minus three by four because i square equal minus one. The result will be minus two minus two root three by four. Then Take the one part is minus two, one plus two three will divide four. The result will be, and here uh, two root three into i, two three i 
so that we have got minus one minus two c i by two. So that what is the value of omega square? We can easily see minus one minus two c i by two. So one is uh, if we make it a square, then you will get the another complex root. One uh, one complex root is a square form of another complex. Root. One complex root is the square form of another complex root. And sum of the three complex three roots equals zero. Sum of the three roots equals zero. Uh, dear students, you must uh, write down this lecture to understand. Next, I want to show the sum of the roots equals zero. So that sum of the three roots, one plus omega plus omega square equal one. Plus minus one plus root three i by two plus minus one minus root three i by two equal two two minus one plus root three i minus one minus root three i so that minus one minus one will form it so that two uh, and root three plus root three minus root zero by two equal zero so that firstly I mention it as sum of the three roots equal Zero and it is proved now. It is proved now. Secondly, I show that y cube equal one. So y cube equal one means omega into omega square. One is omega, then another is omega square. One is omega and another is omega square. Firstly, omega. Omega means minus one plus root i by two. And another is minus one minus root i by two. Product of this complex number. So, product of this complex number, root 3 i minus 1 by 2, and if we take the common part of minus, we have you get root 3 plus 1 by 2. Finally, minus. Root three i whole square minus i square. Denominator value is four. So the minus three i square minus one. Divide four. Minus minus three minus one divides four. Equal four by four. Equal one. So that omega cube equal omega cube equal one. So the product of the two complex number, the complex root, product of the two complex root equal one. Sum of the three roots equal zero, and product of the two complex root equal one. Next, power of i. What is the power of i? What is the value of different power of i? We have to find out this result. Different power of i. Uh, what will be the result? We know that i equal root over minus one so that i square equal minus one i cube equal what i four equal what i five equal what i six equal what i seven equal what whenever it is i cube i cube mean i square into i i square mean minus one into i equal minus i so that i cube mean Minus i, i4, i4 mean i square into i square minus one into minus one equal plus one. What is the value of i5? i5 mean i square i square into i. What is the value of i square? Minus one minus one into i equal plus i. What is the value of i6? i6 mean i square to the power q minus one to the power q. Minus one. What is the value of i seven? I square into i square into i square into i. Minus one into minus one into minus one into i equal minus i. So as it is, uh, difference power of the i. What is the uh, value successively? We can find out according to this process. Now I discuss about the a square root of complex number. A square root of complex number. We can find out the square root of complex number. 
find the square root of composition number. Let exercise three, exercise two, question three. Question three, first question. Find the square is find the square root of minus seven plus twenty four i. Firstly, we have to know that a square root of any complex number is also a complex number. A square root of any complex number is also a complex number. Then if we consider, let root of r minus 7 plus 24 i equals x plus i y. Why? Why do I write this form? Because firstly, I mentioned that a square root of any complex number is also on this number here so thank you a square root of any complex number is also a complex number so that uh, i consider that root over minus 7 plus 24 i equal x plus i y so that is equation one if we uh, squaring on both sides we will get Minus 7 plus 24 i equal x plus i y whole square or minus 7 plus 24 i equal x square plus 2 into x into i y plus i square y square. Yeah. Minus 7 plus 24 i equal x square plus i into 2 x square minus y square. Or minus 7 plus 24 i equal x square minus y square i into 2x to y. So, equating the real and imaginary part. Equating the real and imaginary part. If you're getting the real and imaginary part, your real part is minus 7, and you have real part is x square minus y square, so that you can write x square minus y square equal minus 7. And imaginary part is minus 2xy 24, 2xy equal 24. Equation 2, and it is equation 3. Okay. Now, if you want to know about x square plus y square full square, I mean x square minus y square full square plus 4x square y square. What is the value of x square minus y square? It is minus 7. Minus 7 whole square plus x square whole square. Okay? So we can remove this part. Then, this square plus this square plus square plus 49. What is the value of x y? That's 24. This square plus 24. This square means using the calculator. 24 square. Sorry, 24 square. 12576. 9 plus 576 5 2 6 so that's 25 whole square x square plus y square equal 25 is the equation 4 so there are strengths Follow me here. Uh, root power minus 7 plus 24i equal x plus iy. Then we get minus 7 plus 24i equal x plus iy whole square. Then we have got x square plus 20x into iy plus i square y square. And in the value of i square, i square is minus 1, so that the root of x square minus y square. Uh, then we get x square minus y square plus i into x y. Now, equating the real part and imaginary part on both sides. 
on the left side delta part is minus 7 on the right side delta part is x square minus 1 square and write x square minus 1 square for minus 7 similarly imagine if part 24 and here 2 x y x square equal to 24 equation 2 equation 3 now we will find out the value of x square plus y square a plus b whole square equal a minus b whole square plus 4 x x square minus y square result of x square minus y square minus 7 whole square and 4 x square y square means 3 x square whole square so this is the value of 20, uh, 3 x square means 24 uh, from equation 3, after restoring and simplify, we have got 6 to 5, mean 25 from square. This is equation 4. Uh, our target is to find out the value, finding value of x and y. So from equation 4 and from equation 2, adding the equation 2 and 4. By adding equation 2 and 4, we adding equation 2 and 4, we got, we get 2, uh, x square plus y square plus x square minus y square equal 25 uh, minus 7. Okay, minus 7. And what is the result of this value? Uh, I have 2x square equal uh, 18 or x square equal 9. So that, that x equal plus minus 3. From equation 4. Four. Bring the value of x plus minus three plus y square equal to twenty five, or y square equal twenty five minus nine equals sixty. So that y equal the square root of fourteen mean plus minus four. So we have find we have, we have found the value of x and y. So what is the result of square root? Uh, we just consider x plus i y. So the required result for the square root of the given number is given number is minus seven plus twenty-four i equal plus minus x b three plus minus i into y min four. So the X is in form plus minus three the square root of any complex number. But this math we can solve another way. And if we uh, if you um, uh, guess how to solve this problem, it will be easy or uh, short form. You can consider the given uh, complex number minus seven plus four i. Firstly. Uh, you uh, you should make the number real number into uh, into two number. Okay, it's divided into two numbers. So minus seven. How can you proceed two into twelve by? You have to proceed this twelve by into two form. Three into four mean uh, three to four equal twelve. So that one number will be three, another number will be four. Or four right? Or, or one number will be 4i, another number will be 3. And whenever you are squaring this number, 3 square and 3 square, 4i square, then it, it will be become it, it become 9 and it become uh, it becomes 16 i square. 16 i square mean minus 16. So minus 16 plus 9 mean uh, minus 7. So that you can you can deform the number minus 7, you can deform the number minus 16 plus 2 into 12i plus 9. Okay, minus 16 plus 9 mean minus 7. So minus 16 means 16i square plus 2 into 12i plus 9. Okay, after that, 9 mean 3 square plus 2 into 3 and 16i mean 4i whole square into 4i. So the result will be 3 plus 4i whole square. Okay. The result will be 3 plus 4i whole square. Now, uh, root of this number, minus 7 plus 24i. So this, what will be the result? Plus minus 3 plus 4i. Simply you can solve this problem like this. Okay, <coughs> so how can I solve this problem? 
Now our required complex number was j equal minus seven plus twenty four i. Firstly, I wrote this uh, numbers find the form two into twelve i. Now twelve i, we reformed it into the two product uh, two factors. Twelve i mean three into four i or four into three i. Four into four i into three. Four i whole square mean minus sixteen. Uh, three whole square mean nine. Minus uh, sixteen i square. Four i mean sixteen i square. 16 as square means minus 16. Minus 16 plus 9 equal minus 7. So that we can reform minus 7 into the form minus 16 plus 9. So minus 16 equals 16 as square plus 2 into 12 plus 9. 9, 9 means 3 square. 2 into 3. This, this is in the form a square plus 2 square b square. Here a is 3 and b is 4i. 4i is whole square equal minus 16. So a plus b whole square. 3 plus 4i whole square. So the original numbers, I reform it into the square form. Original number is deformed into the square form. That is very easy to make it square root. So when square root, uh, you give it the sign of square root, uh, root over minus seven plus 24 into five, equal plus minus, uh, square is omitted, three plus four into y. That is the result of the square root of any complex number. Here, now we know about the power of now we, okay yes students uh, uh, if you have any question yes students uh, about this discussion if you have any question please ask me for the next clarification just now okay have any question please raise your hand Ashfaq, Tanjim, Jahin, no question. No question, name. Yes, sir. Okay, if have, uh, you have no question, so today we uh, know about uh, what is complex number? Uh, give root of unity, characteristics of the unity, and sum of the sum. Friends, uh, and the number, and it is not uh, finished yet, but time is uh, about uh, finished. Okay, so have any question, please ask me. I will clear. No more question. Okay, thank you. Thanks to all everybody. Sir, can you class this class? Yes, sir. Time, uh, mane, time to shesh I mean, you know, I mean, 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 I I mean, time consider kore shesh korte jacchi nahole eta onek bishal exercise onek alochona korar bishoy ache ager bare to time beshi niye felchilam ejonno ebar jiggesha korteci e porjonto alochona shopike chhatroder kono question ache kina ami ejonno jiggesha korlam kintu kono keu kono hat raise kore nai tahole ki shesh korte pari tahole amra shesh kori ha okay thank you thank you